I want to be a voice to my generation. Day in and day out, I wake up knowing that God is the answer. I resolved in my heart that I won't serve any other gods but Him. Not greed, money, or materialism. Not lust, pornography, or sex. Not selfishness, pride, or comparison. I've tried so much of what the world has to offer, and I know it pales in comparison to what Jesus has shown me. But do they? I'm so overwhelmed by all the hurt, pain, and torment. People are so bound by anxiety, fear, and darkness, and I know that I have the answer they need. I know my God is both willing and able to deliver them out of the kingdom of darkness. To dispel the pain, hurt, and loneliness. To, to bring, bring freedom, freedom like only He can. Ah, I want to be a voice to my generation. But I sit and I daydream of what it would look like for revival to break out around me. I have dreams of walking up to the sick, declaring their healing and seeing it happen, of doctors and nurses standing in awe of the power of God. I daydream of sharing the gospel with someone on the brink of suicide and seeing him radically saved and set free from a moment of prayer. I dream of what it would look like for my generation to overthrow the God of self and to stop living for man's approval, of God showing up in my office and people getting saved, of marriages being restored, of Norman being a city like heaven, full of love, unity, honor, humility, generosity. I have so many dreams of the church finally being the church, giving as people have need, loving unconditionally, restoring the sinner to righteousness, and sending the gospel to the four corners of the earth. But outwardly, I'm, I'm silent. silent. Why am I afraid? What's the worst that could happen? Isn't this what Jesus died for? Isn't he with me even now? I'm sick and tired of passivity. What, what am, am I, I so afraid, afraid of? Why, Why do I hold back? back when I know that I have the answer that they need? It's time I say no more. It's time to awaken from our slumber. We don't have much time left. People are dying and going to hell. There are so many Christians living their lives bound by the devil, not realizing what Jesus already paid for on the cross. Jesus is coming back for a pure and spotless bride, not the passive side of the church we have now. It's time for the church to rise up. Awaken, Awaken church. church. Wake up. Awaken from your slumber. Let those daydreams become reality. Let God's heart be unleashed. I won't hold back anymore. I won't say crippled by fear. I, I will be the voice of my generation. generation.